In 2006, Susie and Jason were each given a camcorder and challenged to become paparazzi for a day, trying to snap as many celebrities as they could. And they did. Well, they did a bit rubbish, actually. Yes, Mel C's brother, correct? Oh, that's Rebecca Luz. Now I was the photographer, and my goal was to snap more and bigger stars than either of my co-presenters. So I headed off to Los Angeles, where Hollywood stars gather on Sunset Strip and converge upon each other's Hollywood mansions. Or so I'm hoping, because this time I'm equipped with not just one camera, but three of the latest and best compact cameras around. This challenge would give me the opportunity to test all three cameras thoroughly. And to help out, I was joined by a professional PAP, Owen Beanie, director of paparazzi operations at the news agency WENN. I'm testing out three compact cameras here today. You're obviously used to huge professional cameras with equally huge lenses. Do I stand any chance of getting a decent pap shot with one of these? Yes, you do. Uh, in fact, last week I actually used one of those uh, to shoot Miley Cyrus. So Brilliant. it can be done. See if we can get you some celebs on those cameras. Brilliant. Let's, Let's go. Let's do it. We'd be doing what's known as fishing, scouring the suburbs for familiar faces to snap. My first camera was the Panasonic TZ10, the successor to the excellent TZ7. The TZ10 has a similar 12 times optical zoom, but adds built-in GPS, a potentially handy feature which appealed to Owen. That, for me, that would be phenomenal, because obviously then I could build up a, a sort of a database of where celebrities hang out, like hotspots. It does use a bit of the battery, though. I was about to say, that must drain away the battery no mm. end. And I've only got about 70 or 80 shots on a charge, which is not that many, really. That's not a lot at all. Plus, the GPS seemed to be lagging behind. I think uh, that was about two or 3,000 feet back, the other side of the lights. We decided to save the battery and lose the GPS, but Beverly Hills seemed worryingly deserted. All right, let's go to the Beckham's house. That's the Beckham's. I've got a shot of the Beckham's drive, if nothing else. I was impressed by the rich colour and steady shots from the Panasonic, even on the high-speed continuous shooting mode from a moving car. And scouting out the rest of Beverly Hills, I tried out its HD video. Again, very sharp, smooth and colourful, but... No celebrities. If I wanted to beat Susie and Jason, I needed to up my game. My next camera was the Ricoh CX-3 with its 10.7 times zoom. Before long, we had a sighting. Oh, that's a photographer. Oh, my God, there's someone here. There's someone here. OK, get ready to jump out. Where's my camera? The camera. All right, so I've just seen Brian Wilson uh, right. from the Beach Boys. Right. Uh, he's, he's obviously dropping off his DVDs. Excellent. Uh, and he's been coming out of this video shop any second, and you're going to get your paparazzi shots of him along yes. with me. This could be it. In preparation, I put the Rico into continuous shooting mode. This camera has five frames a second. That's five frames so a second. So you should be able to come away with a lot I of pictures here. Uh, maybe he's done a runner on it. The fast burst mode was ideal for paparazzi pictures, but not all the snaps were in focus, and the colour was annoyingly washed out with an almost purple cast. Go, go. Hmm? All right. But Brian was on the move, so I decided to check out the Rico's video. Again, the colours were a bit off, and the zoom was jerky. And it doesn't have a dedicated video button. You've got to uh, switch the dial round to shoot a movie, which is kind of a bit slower. Next up was Canon's new PowerShot SX210IS, with its whopping 14 times zoom. We headed for one of Owen's favourite celebrity hotspots, a posh supermarket. Now, the Canon's got a flash that pops up automatically when you switch it on, but if you don't want it, you've got to remember to... Pop it down manually. In a high stressful scenario, you're not going to remember to push it down. No, you can't. Turn it on and you're ready to go. We left our rather conspicuous cameraman in the car and positioned ourselves outside. And then I spotted him, Paul Sorvino from the movie Goodfellas, a genuine big name Hollywood actor. But the Canon's burst mode was frustratingly slow and unfocused, so I switched to the much more acceptable HD video. Ah, oh, marvelous. Thank you. Now I tested all three cameras, but I'd only managed two celebs. They were great names, but it wasn't enough. I'd failed. We downloaded our pictures, and I got ready to make my way home. But then, Owen's phone rang. We're on our way. We're not done yet. Let's go. Ooh, brilliant. If only we could make it in time. And we did make it, and right to the front of a crowd of paparazzi photographing glamour girl and singer Aubrey O'Day and actor Quinton Aaron, the lead in the acclaimed film The Blind Side, the movie which won Sandra Bullock her Oscar. Aubrey! 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 
Hey, I could use all three cameras here. And again, although the Ricoh's fast burst mode was handy, it was clear that the Panasonic was taking the best, most natural shots. Aubrey. We also, yeah, we also... Right here, Aubrey, please. Thank you. So, on to G ratings. And it's three Gs for the Canon, which can produce good pictures, but was too slow with hit and miss focus. It's a respectable three Gs for the speedy Ricoh. It would get more if it could conquer those color issues. And it's four Gs for the Panasonic, which despite the power-hungry GPS, takes the best pictures of the bunch. Great work. Well done, John. Thank you very much. Yeah, because <laughs> when Jason and I went pathing in London, we didn't really do that well. I mean, I got Goldie and some birds. Wait, I've got football. Samuel L. Jackson. What are you talking about? Yeah. Yeah, that was in Madame Tussauds. That was the proper picture. Uh -huh. And can I just say, to John's credit, Aubrey O'Day is genuine pap material. Mm. And yes, that, that was actually taken with the leading camera, the Panasonic, which is definitely the best out of the three. And whether you're taking shots of Aubrey or indeed the kids or landscapes or whatever, it's a great compact camera.